I am in Tucson, Arizona. I just got to 22nd Street Antique Mall. Now, I've been worried that I'm never gonna make it to California, right? And I have a feeling I'm gonna stay in Arizona much longer than anticipated because the antique malls here look awesome and plentiful. So, let's hit our first stop. Oh my gosh, and these little pose dolls. Tell me there's gonna be no price. Oh, of course. What about back here? There's maybe... All right, let's see. 1960s, wait. It's a set, set of six. One, two, three, four, five, six, sold. Oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes. I feel bad for, I just wish they'd give me a freaking basket. I can't even go back there before I investigate. $13, no way. These are super rare and hard to find. I've never even seen this version before. <laughs> Fabulous. But also, how did I miss this frog scrub brush holder that has the eyelashes? $7 sold. And what about this little mushroom box? That is so cute. It seems a little flimsy for me though at that price. Oh, and I love this rooster. But more importantly, these shakers are amazing. I thought it was a salt and pepper and sugar, but alas, it's not. Oh, look, there's one of those little funny two-in-one salt and pepper shaker sets that you can't see because I'm carrying so much stuff. Wait, oh my gosh. Oh, this is a nightmare without a basket, but look at this bottle opener. $7.50 sold. And they also have a seal one. Those are fantastic. Oh, wait, I'm realizing now Looks like they're missing the actual bottle opener. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think it's missing a, I don't think that's right. It doesn't look right, it looks broken. Although this one looks right. I'm gonna get this just cause it's a cute figurine if nothing else. Whoa, look at this cellulite cupies. It's so fun. I'm also really into this box. And of course the bottom of the hold Howard. Oh, I love the little Hong Kong faux fruit necklace. So cute. $20 is a really good price for a collector too. Those, those can be really expensive, especially online. Oh my gosh. Look at this weird thing. <laughs> Oh, and look at this little pin cushion. 206, 50% off everything. So seven bucks, what? Well, I have to get that now, don't I? Also, that dog painting is everything. What is this little guy? Is there a discount in this booth? No, I don't see one. I don't think I can do anything with that at $9. This is very cool. Peacock. That's super neat. And I love the wood carved cockatoos. Eight dollars. Oh, uh oh, look at you. That is so cute. Oh, look at that too. Well, for ten dollars, we have to get this. And then, what is going on here? Seven dollars. Seven dollars. We will take all of these because they're too weird and wonderful not to. And I love that stone hippo too. Whoa, look at this. This is neat. Condoms at 15. Look at this chick painting. I'm not gonna lie, if it was a different shape or in a different frame, I would definitely grab it, especially for $10. Oh my gosh, I love her. Oh, and I see the risque tin. Oh, there's. I can't see what the price says. I'm gonna have to get somebody to open this up. 
Yeah, for sure. Because I see risque in there, the tin trays. Well, I guess I'm just gonna keep on going until I see one of the key guys. What about this dog creamer? 24, even with 20% off, I can't justify that. I also said that I was gonna go through a second time, but honestly, my feet are killing me. Um, I've been at it all day and this place is huge. And considering we all know I've had a bad attitude about my lack of basket. <laughs> so I don't think that's gonna happen, but oh my gosh, the cat pin cushion. I need that too. Where are the key guys? Yeah, I'm starting to lose steam. What is going on here though? This is hilarious. Goofy giraffe doing the splits, $8 sold. How incredible is that? <laughs> I know it's not as old as I like, but I kind of feel like who cares? Oh, look at this creamer. How much is this 14? Dang, I can't get away with that. And my mic just fell off. So there you go. $10 so eight. I can't do that without paint loss. Um, I need a mini screwdriver for my mic. Oh, that lamp is so pretty, that lady one. Hopefully that will stay on there for their, um, this vase is kind of crazy. This Japanese one back here, it's $18 and 30% off. I might have to get a better look at that. I decided against it, I'm kind of tapping out. I love the mushrooms and the cat and the daisy, but they're all at 25 and I don't, yeah, 20% off. Yeah, that's too close to retail. That's about what I would sell all those for. They're fantastic though, especially those mushrooms. Well, I can see his price is 15, but how much is the sailor girl? I'm gonna need to know. <clears throat> I need to take a oh break. Oh my gosh, I'm screaming. I need to go out and take a break. <clears throat> but in the meantime, look at this bank. Is there a discount in this booth? This is like super rare. I don't see a discount. I'm gonna have to think on that one. That's definitely close. Um, I could definitely make money off of it though, so I might just come back. <gasps> mine. This is mine. All right, I'm back at it. So I did grab the little squeak toy sailor girl. She was $10, oh my gosh, so cute. Oh, look at that. I think that's Gary's too. I've never seen it with a poodle on it. Looks like a poodle, right? And then the hand painted bird mirror. They've got some really fantastic stuff in this case. Hmm, 25, unicorn pin. That's fantastic. Kind of over the case situation, but when in Rome, right? Look at that bangle back there. I think that might be Bakelite. They probably know what it is, so. Um, yeah, let me read this sign, 30% off everything. Okay, yeah, so I do kind of want to take a look at the unicorn pin. The telephone brooch, that's like a newer version of that, but still, sorry, I hiccuped. Oh, I hiccuped again. I just chugged some water. The poodle with the cane is fantastic. This necklace is really bothering me. Yeah, there's a lot going on in here. Uh, I had to go into the car and get out my emergency. <laughs> emergency antique mall card it's like that right now i think i'm about to hit 400 in here and i have not been selling that much off the road <laughs> i've just been buying look at the owl all right i can't wait any longer i need to do this this booth is really really calling my name look at this candle it's actually not mexican it's from japan and it's very cool, even though it's got a couple of spots of damage. Um, for six bucks, I've never seen one, and I think it's super neat. So, I kind of feel like, why not, right? And, yeah, I'm still really torn up about this bank. Is it weird to buy this with the damage? It's not Mexican, it's Japanese, which makes it way cooler, no offense. Ugh, I'm just nervous about the damage. I've done enough damage myself in here. 
Um, where was I? The lion. A team. I uh, that's a pass for me. 18. That's actually really fair. Wish there was a little extra discount. This is bothering me. This was at 20. I think I can make some good money off that. The flat faces usually sell really well. Um, maybe I should get it and stash it away and save it for the kitsch caboose train. Although at this rate, I actually think that this is going to post after the kitsch caboose because I'm so far ahead in my videos. Little dog bank. 12. Oh my gosh, stop. Look at this. That's fantastic. And this is leather. And it's in good condition. I've never seen this kind. I'm going to get that. This is just so kitschy. I'm having a hard time walking away. Oh. I'm gonna walk away one more time and see what happens. But also, I was about to turn my camera off and switch boost when I saw the astronaut game. 15 though, and it's got a little bit of damage. It's a little close, even though astronaut stuff usually sells for a good amount. Ah, look at you, Mac Italian, excuse me. Polish, actually, I'm wrong again. 39 though. How funny are these robots? Yeah, I am starting to lose steam. I'm ready to get back in the car and move along to something else. This is really fun. I don't have the most luck with that, um, that Circo plastic, though. What? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, my gosh. How cute. Um, the Mexican clowns. But also these really neat plaques. These are new, still. Very cool. Fish basket, seems important. But alas, big wood cat. It's a really good price. But it leaves a little to be desired for me. I'm a little overwhelmed at this point. Yeah, this is cute. I'm sorry, I'm like having a hard time juggling everything. I think I am gonna just chalk anything I left uh, off to a loss after this aisle here. Uh, this is my last aisle, technically. And I'm gonna go somewhere else. And I got really excited to see this long pottery deer. $4 as is, yeah. It's got a pretty bad nick on it. Otherwise, I would totally get that. Even if it was more than $4, probably. <laughs> Look at that scarecrow thing. That's amazing. Huh, there's some really unique stuff in this booth. And I love the pinup girl mug. Again, it is damaged. Otherwise I would grab that as well. It's been a long time since I've found one of those. The little mouse. This is amazing. I love this type of bohemian glass. Starting to lose steam though. And not to mention my car is full. Oh my gosh, the seahorses are $10. I wish I could just rip these off. <laughs> Actually, they don't feel right. All right, so, glass. I can't leave here without this. As being a beloved kitcher as I am, and oh my gosh, how did I miss whatever this thing is? <laughs> That's so weird, I love it. Okay, let me not damage this because flat faces are super rare and I've never even seen this one. So for $20, I think the last one I had in this style sold for $49. So I don't know why I was being that weird, but I'm getting it. Especially because the paint glaze on these are really hard to find in good condition. That does me in, I think. But I didn't forget. Alas, at $8, I'm gonna grab the Madonna planter and I'm really, really into this bear. I kind of feel like, what's another 20 bucks at this point? <laughs> That's my attitude. It might not be the best attitude, and this might not be the best buy, but I think it's super fantastic. No, I'm not gonna do that to myself, but I'm just second guessing. I really think that that is just about what I'd get for that after fees, but for $12, I cannot leave this pristine music box behind. So I'm gonna take this in the Madonna planner and I'm gonna get out of here.
So I spent $454 in there, which is definitely more than I anticipated, but I got some really, really great unique stuff and I am exhausted. I've had a change in plans. That place was way more epic than I had anticipated. Uh, and my mic is broken and I want to meet, meet up with Alex from BF Vintage tomorrow. And there's just a lot going on. Now, even though my car looks like this, yep, <laughs> I am the psychopath who's going to yet another antique car.